Howdy all, and welcome to Fish Web's On the Water Review, brought to you by Maple Bay Marine, your northern Michigan's Lund Boat Headquarters, any season, any reason. And by Leaders RPM, Michigan's boating superstore, serving Michigan, the Midwest, and beyond. We begin our tour at the Little Traverse Township Boat Launch on the west end of the 2300 acre Crooked Lake. This is the most western access point on Michigan's inland waterway. Here you'll find a nice loading dock, concrete ramp, and parking for 13 rigs right off of US 31 just north of Conway. The inland house sits right on the beach just south of the boat launch and it's the most recognizable landmark in Conway. Right next door is a small public park with a nice sandy beach. Due west of Conway, Grand Point curls out from the south shore. The area around this sandy point will hold fish in the heavy weed beds off the drops, and it's a good place to try your luck. This also makes it a popular hangout for the local gulls. Southeast from Grand Point, the Minnehaha River empties into the southwest side of Crooked Lake. The bay here holds a wide variety of game fish like walleye, pike, perch, brown trout, and even a few tiger muskie. Just north of the river mouth, you'll find a small grassy park with a few pingy tables and a carry down access site to drop in your canoe or kayak. The waters from the river mouth north past Oden Island are productive year round and a popular area for early walleye. Also one of my favorite spots to troll year round. On the north shore of West Crooked Lake is the Windjammer Marina. They have gas, a ship store, boat rentals, and full marine service. Heading east, the Odin Channel connects the east and west sides of Crooked Lake on the north shores of Odin Island. When entering from the west, be sure to stay to the north side of marker 87 to avoid the sandbar. It's a no-wake zone, so watch your speed in the channel. On the south end of Odin Island, there's a causeway and small bridge that connects the island to the mainland. The water here is very shallow, so it's best to keep the motor tilted up on shallow drive or go electric. A bit further east from the causeway you'll find marker 2. This is the entrance to the channel connecting Crooked Lake and Pickerel Lake to the south. The channel is a no-wake zone with the bottom covered in weeds and old downed trees and logs, so it's best to stay to the center where the depth is averaging 4 to 5 feet. The middle of the channel opens up into a large spring-fed pond. It's a great place to get out of the wind and waves and soak up a little sun or just watch the boats go by.
Once at the south end of the channel, you'll enter into the west side of Pickerel Lake. On the south shore, you'll see a small sandbar. The area from there east following the drop is a good area to fish, as is most of the area west of Ellsworth Point. On the east side of Ellsworth Point, there is a small public access site. It has a good concrete ramp and loading dock, but there is very limited parking. On the far west shore of Pickerel Lake, Berry Creek runs through Emmett County's Camp Petisega. Here you will find the nicest beach on both lakes with a marked off swim area and a well manicured grounds. There are rental cabins, modern campgrounds, bathrooms, a pavilion, gazebo, and a rec hall that can be rented for special occasions. The shallow water in the area warms faster than most places on the inland waterway, making it a great beach for early summer fun. The area offshore here is also a favorite fishing spot for some. The heavy wheat cover holds pike, bass, walleye, and a variety of panfish. After traveling back through the black hole into Crooked Lake, you'll pass marker 2 and then head west towards the Crooked River. The western end of this lake is relatively shallow, so you'll want to stay in the middle of the marked channel. To continue the tour of the Inland Waterway, go to fishweb.com's boating section and click on the link on the left column. Till next time, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on the water.